guys, Aretha here, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on designing for extreme beginners. By the way, guys, while I am recording this video, just know that I am sick, I do have a cold, and please just bear with me for this video. So, I mean, a lot of you, I'm guessing, want to design clothes and came here to like learn the super basic basics, which I'll be teaching you today. So first, we're going to start off by opening uh, paint.net and this is where we'll be designing most of our clothes and I'll have the downloads in the description so if you don't have paint.net, you can go download it there and there will be two different ones so if one doesn't work for you, you can try the other one or something. So anyways, this is paint.net and um, what you want to do when you open it is go on file, open, and uh, you open your shirt template. I will also have this in description. Um, so for my shirt template, I have a slightly transparent background. So like if I put an image in there, like if we take this image and if we put it in the background, you'll like be able to see what it looks like back there too and um, I don't know sometimes I find it useful sometimes I don't but it's my template so yeah this is what we're gonna be designing our clothes on and I'll show you around a little bit more so if we go in adjustments you'll see I have a lot more than you guys will but the main ones I use are brightness and contrast and this makes images look either sharper or like you can make it darker or lighter and that's a really good tool and another tool that I use is um hue slash saturation and this is where you can change the color of your objects not only the color but like the brightness of the color like a super intense color or like gray and then also you can change the lightness and darkness in here but like that's not always super useful when you have other tools too. And um, yeah, those are the two main ones I use in adjustments. And if you head on over to effects, you will see I have another lot of stuff in there. This is just a plugin that I use for designing. And uh, the most important one for you guys would be in blur. And uh, the blur that I probably use the most is the God. Gaussian blur I think that's called I don't know how to pronounce it but it's a very simple blur and it just like blurs your whole picture so if you're like shading something then you just want to use this and obviously you can choose how much you want it to be shaded and like how little you want it to be shaded so yeah next we will be moving on to this little tool ball this toolbar over here and I will show you what each of these little things do so let's just open some random thing let's open killer whale okay so how you zoom in and out is holding control in your scroll wheel and you just go in and out blah whatever and then um, just a few things that you can do with your keyboard is control a and that will select the whole picture and then um, control C is copy and control V is paste so if we open up another layer and control V you'll see now we have two orcas Wow that is so cool and then control X is delete gets rid of your picture super cool so let's look over at this toolbox over here this is our select tool this allows us to select a certain area of our drawing and what you do is like control C control V that area and I mean, it's useful when you're designing clothes, but like here, not really. And this is the lasso select tool. Um, what you do with this tool is you just like draw sort of. So if you have like curves in your drawing or like you're selecting a certain area of a picture you found, this tool is super useful for like just getting the parts that you need and you can select them and do whatever you want with that see look I just took his head off how great is that under that tool we have the wand I love this tool so much because it's like it selects an area only of that color 
So like if you have a background and you want to take it off and it's like a white background and you have like a red shirt, then it's super easy to take the background off. Tolerance at the top means the pixel's color. Like if the pixel is white, then the tolerance will choose only the white or white related pixels. But as you move the tolerance up, it broadens the range of color. So that's what that is for. And moving on over here, this is the paint brush. I mean, the paint bucket. On um, the paint bucket, I don't really use a lot, but I mean, obviously it does what paint buckets are supposed to do. It just fills in a large area with the color of your choice. So yeah, that's what that does. And over here, this is our paint brush. This can be super useful. You just color around with it. Let me get a different color, guys. Okay. Yeah. So basically, it's just a paintbrush. And also, up here, you have another super useful tool. It's this worm-looking thing. Anti-lasting enabled. And when we go disabled, it causes it not to, like, shade or at the sides and under that we have the pencil tool I don't really use this tool a lot because it's only one pixel and you can't change that and yeah so basically it's like the paintbrush but can't change how it looks under the stamp tool we have the text tool so with this you can type hi I'm Arithia and then right here, we can change like the size, the font. I am a worthy y'all. Yes, it sounds different in different fonts. So yeah, and then under that, we have the shapes. Guys, beginners, shapes are super useful for necklines because like, okay, let me show you an example right here. So up here at the top left, you have your like tool kind of selection. So if we choose ellipse, and then like you're making a neckline or whatever, whoa, that is thick. If you're making a neckline and you go like this, then that's super helpful for making collars and plus like it doesn't look weird up here and it doesn't look that bad down here either. And perfection doesn't honestly matter unless it does to you, but it doesn't. So let's go back here and try out some of our other tools. Okay, this tool is, um, basically it moves the entire layer, or it's just like your basic moving tool. Like, if you select something and click on that moving tool, it'll move that around. But this tool only moves the selection box, and that's super useful if you are, um on your like template and you select this and you don't want to move the pixels but you do want to move your selection to this side and then you can copy and paste it to the other side and that's what that tool is mostly useful for for me and then this tool we got the zoom you know zoom zoom yeah just zoom in just click this tool it's just used for looking around this tool is your gradient. Let's deselect, edit, deselect. And um, this can be useful. Just depends. As you can see, you got one light, one dark, and it fades. And then up here, you can change it to like different kind of shapes. Ooh, ooh, that's so cool. So yeah, that is the gradient. And then after our gradient, we have the eraser. If you make mistakes, which I know you guys will, this is what the eraser is for. See, you can draw a happy face on your whale. Happy whale. Very nice. Over here, you have the color picker. And I don't really use this a lot because I don't make my own clothes. I find pictures, but if you do, it's useful for getting one spot and then like you know just like coloring it in if you mess up or something I don't know what you guys are doing then here uh, so we're gonna skip the recolor 
I never use that, but this tool I do use all the time, especially when I'm like working on a project or like a shirt by myself, I will use this tool. And basically it's just a line, but it's not just a line, of course not. No, you can bend this line however you want and like make shirts and whatever, shirt shapes. Beautiful. As you can see, it, it is the beginning of a very nice shirt crop top all right guys next we will be going over the layers and um for beginners layers aren't really that important to you but if you want to like get a head start and start you know playing around with the layers and this is what you should be doing so um first let me just grab like i don't know a pdn file okay i found a clothing item with layers so guys what layers are is it's like your working space basically so like this could be our layer one but then you can also add layers on top of that like these and so layers are super helpful because you can like edit one layer at a time and it won't affect the other layer which is super useful if you're like making intricate clothing or you want to like start designing professionally or something. It's not always helpful to just be designing on the same layer. Just saying. So yeah, can move this layer. It won't move the other layer. You could change the color of that layer and it won't affect the color of your bottom layer. So that's why I really like using layers while I'm designing. And usually I'll design in like, I'll design a shirt layer and a pants layer and a shoe layer and a hair layer and a every layer and like super helpful. So now we'll be going over how to save your clothing projects. You can uh, do save as and name it um, whatever you want. And then down here it will say save as type paint.net pdn you don't want that roblox does not accept that you want to make sure you save it as png roblox will only accept png and then you do save okay and if you worked with two layers it will show you this blah 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 flatten just click flatten it'll just flatten your layers together for you but if you didn't have layers, it won't do that, so don't worry. All right, finally, we will be going over where to find these clothes. So my favorite site that I use is Polyvore. In the description, I left like a bunch of links for you guys to go check out and just like look at their clothes. But I find this website super awesome because one, all their clothes are like looking the way that you want to be using them in paint.net like the front view is not of a person so you don't have to like do all the extra work to get their skin tone and like their hair or whatever out of super cute clothes here too you can find like every kind of outfit you ever need and they have this over here which is called outfits and like you can look for stuff and it'll give you like a shirt and the pants and like shirt pants shoes shirt pants and cardigans stuff like that so i find this website super super helpful so let's just open one of these and i will show you a few of the things we can do to start working with one of these so let's just open this and take a look at it so we got a super cute like dress shirt thingy here i don't know and um, there are two ways you guys can work with clothes. So, um, oh my gosh, get off my page. Okay, one way you guys can save clothes is by right clicking. But like on a lot of these shopping sites, it won't show like copy image. You'll have to do save as, which takes too much time. So what I like to do is just most of your computers should have the ability to take a screenshot of your screen and mine is prt 
SC and you just tap that go back to your paint.net file new and once you open it you can just paste it there and you'll have the full image and you won't have to like go into extra work to save it stuff like that thank you guys so much for watching my video i hope you learned something and good luck designing all your clothes bye <laughs>